Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Clash with Curbs. Today I'm going to do more of a tutorial type of video. I'm going to go through a couple of common style bases that I see in Legends League. The first one is this ring style with the center town hall. I started in a lower damage area with my queen walk and let her pick which side she wanted to go to. Looks like she's working her way up towards 12 o'clock, so I'm going to put a jump spell in. And what she's done is she sort of cut the ring. So then I put my Barbarian King to set an outside funnel, then send everything in to follow the Queen and Warden. A couple of balloons, and what they're going to do is catch any Seeking Air Mines, and I'm going to put my limp into the town hall so right now I've got a poison spell working on that enemy clan castle and those balloons are getting pretty deep into the base feel pretty safe about putting the blimp in so right now it's inside of the aura of the warden I'm going to drop a rage use the warden ability and it gets into the town hall and takes out that center town hall so now I've got my Barbarian King running around the outside and he's clearing everything out so that my troops that are in the ring stay in the ring and they just work their way counterclockwise around the base. My Archer Queen is targeting the Eagle Artillery and everything's just running around this base counterclockwise and it's basically just supporting with spells at this point and my remaining troops wherever I can put them in to help keep everyone moving counterclockwise and at this point it's just completely overkilled I've got a rage spell and healers coming up behind everyone and it's just a matter of time getting the last couple buildings out of the way Archer Queen takes down the last couple buildings, a gold storage, cannon, wizard tower, and that's a three star. Alright, so the next one is a pretty common ring base that you see in Legends League. Now this one doesn't really have that much on the outside. Most of the higher damage defenses are right around the town hall. On this one, I didn't have a jump spell in my army, so I'm going to use a wall wrecker. Um, but if you notice, up at the top, I've got my Grand Warden, and he's going to shoot at that enemy Barbarian King. What's nice is the Barbarian King is not going to be able to target him because of his longer range. So I'm just going to let him work on that enemy Barbarian King, get my Earthquakes in to open everything up, and then once the enemy Barbarian King is down, I'm going to try and break that little ring of defenses that run around the inside ring once I do that I know that my troops aren't gonna wander off down that three o'clock side on the left side I've had my barbarian king smashing through this wall and he's gonna sort of do the same thing on the left at nine o'clock he's gonna try and take out some of those buildings to get that edge cleared out so now I've got my main group of troops coming through the middle my grand warden's going to meet up with them and the enemy cc is pulled it's on the nine o'clock area i'm going to poison it send in a couple of wizards so at this point my troops are starting to get in deep my record did pop so i'm going to use my warden ability it's going to make my troops kind of invincible as they enter into the town hall and now i've broken the outside ring on the left so that's going to force the remaining troops into the town hall. And the healers are keeping everything up. We're working our way through, dropping a rage spell. Now, on this style base, what I like to do is go from the opposite side from wherever the eagle is. Because most base builders are putting their traps on the eagle side. So I sort of work around that. If you notice, there's the tornado trap right by the Archer Queen. That would have really given us some trouble if we sent our wall wrecker into that side. 
So now it's just placing some wizards on the outside to clean everything up. And our archer queen is moving through, and look at all those yeti mites jumping around. They're going to target the mortar. And everyone's just working their way around. Uh, for some reason, my archer queen is smashing into a wall. But it doesn't really matter. Yeti mites just beating up on everything. Pop the queen ability. And that'll get her through to the last couple buildings. And just speed it up a little bit. And get through a three star. So on this one, I've actually got a little bit different of an army here. I've got, instead of witches, I've got some bowlers in there. I have no earthquake spells, but I've got some extra rage spells and freeze. This is actually a little bit older army that I was using in uh, in Legends League. And actually, that's against a base that I've used in Legends League for a couple of seasons on and off. So I start with the Grand Warden. He's going to be in the 6 o'clock area. And basically what I'm trying to do is cut off that side of the base to start a funnel. Now here's where... I try and get into the walls with the wall breakers, but that didn't work out. So I had to improvise and come up with a new plan. So I know I'm going to be stepping into range of that ground expo in just a second. So we got to get a rage spell down to keep the Grand Warden strong. And we're going to take out that Archer Tower and Wiz Tower. And once we do that, we'll have broken the ring on that side. So then we're, we'd be safe to send our troops into the base from there. We've got the Barbarian King working on the left on that gold storage. And he's going to turn to the left and work around the outside of the base. And that'll leave a nice channel for the wall wrecker to run through. And some yetis and bowlers. I'm actually going to send my art, uh, the Royal Champion along with the Barbarian King. They usually work pretty good together he does a lot of tanking and cleaning up the trash buildings and she'll jump around inside of all the different little boxes and take out defenses so at this point i got all the way to the town hall took out the town hall and if you'll notice i started on the opposite side from the eagle artillery again which is one of the reasons why i wanted to show you this attack it it's usually a good idea to start from the opposite side a lot of base builders want to sort of trap you especially when you see an exposed eagle artillery on the outside like that they're usually set up with a lot of traps over there so even though you might get that big defense out of the way it's not always a good decision to go for that so on this one i'm just working through the last couple of buildings that enemy warden tower goes down enemy barbarian king goes down Archer Queen is smashing walls like she likes to do. And just got a couple troops moving through. Pop the ability. We did lose our baby dragon. But we've got so many troops left and there's not a whole lot of defenses left. So the Archer Queen likes smashing walls even more. Oh, finally she decides to go and target a, def <laughs> a building. And it's just going to be the last couple buildings here for the three star. <clears throat> now we've got the V style base. I just call it a V style base because usually they have the town hall in one corner and then the defenses are sort of flared off on either flank in a V shape. On this one, I started from the opposite side. And I just started my queen. I notice this is a symmetrical base, so I just start her in the middle and let her pick a side. And then once she sort of commits to a side, I start the funnel on the opposite corner, open the walls up, and then send the troops in. Now this one, the inf there was nothing like an Inferno Tower Expo at the top, so I felt pretty safe sending the queen up there. Um... The troops are working their way in, support with the royal champ. And I did drop a couple of cocoa looms to test for seeking air mines. And this is actually the trick here. I dropped the Yeti 
blimp up at the top and I watch to see when it's inside of the aura of the Grand Warden. And this is a long trip for it to make, but you can usually do it if you see where the Grand Warden is going. And right before the blimp is out of his range, you pop the ability and it usually gets that blimp all the way down to the town hall and you just rage it. It seems like kind of a risky move, but once you sort of figure out how to funnel everything, it works out pretty good. So now we're just working through the last couple buildings. I got some wizards up at the top cleaning up that trash and everyone's going to sort of collect down at this expo and scatter shot. If you look at the right side, there's that ground expo. I know that it's going to target my queen in just a second here. Everyone's working their way down towards the enemy heroes, and the expo did target my queen, so now I drop a couple wizards in behind it. Should be able to take care of that expo pretty easily. And that's the last big defense. It's just a matter of working our way through and trying to finish off that three star. Look at the warden hitting the enemy barb king. Barb King's just smashing on skeletons. And there's the Royal Champ going down. And then just a couple altars. And it's a three star. So here's another V-shaped. It's flipped upside down. This one actually has a couple of Inferno Islands on the flanks. So we're not going to be able to do the queen walk we the way that we did in the last one so i use a different tactic i use my yeti blimp early and snipe one of the inferno towers on the flank coco loon to tank for it send in the blimp drop a rage spell pop the blimp early and we're going to take out this entire section here and what that's going to do is give me a spot where I can drop my queen easily and I know which direction she's going to go. So I'm going to put her up here by the dark storage and then funnel with a wizard on her left. We did pull the enemy clan castle, so that's going to slow things down a little bit. But we've got the poison spell for that. And wait for the witches to get inside of the poison spell. Drop the grand warden with the queen. That little wizard's just working around that 9 o'clock side. Poking away at those collectors and mines. So these enemy heroes are going to cause an issue. So we want to distract them. We send an ice golem, yetis, and a couple witches up top. And then we jump the queen into that scatter shot. Now she's going to be taking a lot of fire in just a second. So we get ready with the Grand Warden ability. And pop it now with a rage. And that's going to take out the town hall. Now actually what we want the queen to do is jump inside of the base and take out some of those interior buildings as our main group of troops works around the top. We want them to enter back into the base, so we open the walls up with the quakes, and then we cut them off with this wizard on the army camp. And they're just going to smash their way in, and they've got no other choice but to enter the base. And drop a rage spell, get the royal champ in there, a couple wizards behind, and they should run down the right flank all the way to six o'clock troops are working their way through the royal champ is getting more value a couple archer towers she is going to jump into some heavy damage here so we have to pop her ability early and she fizzles out there that single inferno roasted her good our barb king's working around the bottom he's getting roasted by that inferno tower too but he's smashing away, getting a lot of that trash cleared up. And looks like we catch a tornado trap and we're going to lose the Grand Warden. There's a whole group of uh, Yeti up at the top that finally decided to stop smashing against a wall and join the fight. With 20 seconds left in the raid. Now this was actually a live attack. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but... Got the timer going down. 99%, 3, 2, 1, 
And look at that, one shot away, 99%. But that shows you another tactic on this V style. Now we got the L style base. Basically what that means is you got these L channels that run behind the town hall and the town hall is usually offset a little bit. There's two main ways that I approach this base. Um, I'm showing you the first one here. This is more like I, I start the Grand Warden on one of the flanks and then I'll send a little kill squad up at uh, like the main front area, the 12 o'clock area, and then send the rest of the troops in through the middle of that funnel. So we get the Grand Warden. He's going to take out a couple of these outside buildings. Just working his way through. Nice and slow. Now I use this time usually to plan out exactly where I'm going to drop my other troops as he's doing his thing. Now I dropped him in that spot because I didn't see any ground expos that would be able to target them or inferno towers or anything like that so i know i can just sort of look around the base and see what else there is right here i start my ice golem couple yeti couple witches up at the top to start taking out those buildings and direct everyone into the town hall drop a few troops near the grand warden to pull him back over with the main group and then a couple yetis and wizard over at about 11 o'clock to cut off that side so that my troops don't run around the outside. Put my Grand Warden, I'm sorry, my uh, Royal Champ in there, take out those last couple buildings in that channel. And then my troops are going into the Town Hall, take it out. A couple Ice Golems come out of the enemy clan castle. And we pop the ability because we're getting smashed by all those Expos and Scattershot. Tornado trap is going. We are going to rage up our troops here. Get through those walls with the jump spell. And most of the big defenses are down. And we've still got all these troops just smashing away. Working their way through. Yetis are not targeting the building next to them. They're just targeting walls. Because that's what yetis like to do. And Archer Queen's getting shot by the Grand Warden. So we pop her ability. Look at that mortar on the right side. Troops just working their way through. Use our last wizard at the bottom. Help clean up. For some reason, no one wants to target that mortar on the right. Queen would rather shoot a wall. So we'll just speed it up here and show you the three star. <clears throat> this is another L-shaped base. This one's sort of flipped on the other side. This one, I decide to go from the top because it's kind of easy to break that L in half and sort of turn it into more of a narrow padding into the town hall. So I put the warden up at the top. I'm going to have him work his way through and take out those two archer towers and the wizard tower and then get a jump spell down and get the troops in. On the opposite side of his flank I'm going to put the barbarian king and the siege barracks to help funnel everything into the middle. There goes the funnel on that side, and as soon as they take out that building, we send everything in. I'm going to open up the walls right behind the Eagle Artillery with the Earthquake, and then drop the Royal Champ on the right side over by that Spell Factory, and she'll take out those couple of buildings over there and direct everyone in through to the Town Hall. Now what we've actually done on the left is pulled the CC out, a few balloons, and a lava hound. So they're not going to do anything to our main group as they target the town hall. Going to get a rage spell down, pop the warden ability, and get to that town hall. 
And it's not going down yet. Finally, the Yeti mites are hitting it, and the queen hits it. If you look on the left, that lava hound is about ready to pop. So we got all these lava pups. I get them all collected into one little area, drop a poison spell, and they're all gone. I only got a couple of stragglers that followed my group. So most of the traps are usually right around the lower edge here. And we managed to avoid them by going from the top. And just speed it up a little bit and get through the last part of this base. Probably going to hit a few traps on the way, so we're holding on to our queen ability. Skeleton trap goes. Little bombs going off. And on this one, we get so close again. Start targeting that last building, but it's a 99. But that gives you the basic idea how you'd want to run through that style base. This I call the box base with the teaser. Basically that just means that it's a box and then they put the town hall on the outside. They sort of do that because they want you to try and attack straight at the town hall. And you end up hitting all their traps or go from the opposite side. And what happens is your troops just end up splitting. So I usually try and go in from one of the side flanks if there's no, you know, ground expos or anything like that that's going to take my Grand Warden out. So on this one, I just sort of want to take out the buildings in that first little channel to create a nice funnel. Then at 6 o'clock, I drop my siege barracks and a few troops in between them. Now the way that you get the tar them to target the town hall is you've got to send some troops up by that bomb tower to basically take those buildings out and force everyone into the town hall and then you put a jump in behind the town hall use the warden ability and then the troops will enter the base that way and then on the back side of the town hall you've got to take out those buildings so that the troops going into the base don't leave the base and go around um, so we got the grand warden ability the royal champ just took out the wizard tower so everyone should go into the middle we do have a few troops on the outside but they're supposed to be there those guys are just going to slowly poke their way around the outside and distract defenses as these yetis tank in the middle and the archer queen and Yetis just work their way through the interior buildings. Now they've got healers on them, so they've got plenty of tanking there. If you look at those troops at the top, you can't quite see them, but they're just working their way around the outside, slow and steady. Our Archer Queen is getting through these last couple defenses. And sort of just counterclockwise, those troops are taking everything out. Never in that much danger. This is the easy way to take out those box bases with like the teaser town hall on the outside. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone for watching this Clash with Curbs, and we'll see you next time.